Welcome back to lesson two of the of how to set up payment gateway on your store. So the topic for the lesson two is payment gateway integration. That is how to integrate the gateway with your website. Uh, what you will learn in this lesson, at least three subtopics are listed for your advantage here. The first one is list of most popular payment gateway. The second one is payment gateway charges compared. And the last one is fund uh, disbursement. Uh, right now, uh, don't be surprised that you see this one once again. So just to let you understand better about it. So all this statistic is showing you the variability of each payment method available on the internet. So you can understand here that credit card is the most popular just like I told you earlier, is the most popular because it is being used uh, globally. Uh, followed by paper. Paper payments gateway is also popular, but not available to some countries. Uh, I have personally contacted the their management, challenging them why they do not. Uh, allow Nigerians to use it to collect money. Uh, their reply was simple. They let, they let me understand that it was not them, that it is because of the monetary policy of Nigeria government that, that in that them, not them that really shows that Nigerians should not be take the advantage of the platform. So they let me understand that whenever they are allowed to uh, to venture into the uh, uh, into the business of this country, that they will let the users, they will notify all the, the users. So that is just it for now. You may not be able to use this to collect uh, payments on your website unless you have alternative way of withdrawing your money into your local bank account so debit card cash on delivery uh, bank transfer gift card or voucher mobile payment uh, cryptocurrency other bitcoin uh, drones uh, bit cash and so on and so forth we have we have them in thousands so you can select anyone that your users want to pay with Additionally, there is need to let you understand the process of uh, of of collecting fee with this all this uh, payment uh, gateway. So many things that happen behind the scene that, including the merchant and the user, do not really know. So let's start from the point number one here. We we'll see that customer enter bill information account, the bill information account. As soon as the consumer selects a particular product and want to pay, so the checkout page will, will be accessible to the person. On needs, there is going to be a form made available to the person to fill. So there, the person will be able to enter his name, mobile number, email, then bill, there is different thing between the personal address and the we have the billing address and the shipping address. But in most cases, it is better that we make it simple for consumers. So we we may use just one. That is the personal address or the billing address can also be used as the shipping address. The reason why it is different to one another is that uh, the particular place that the user or the consumer want the product to be shipped to may be different to where his uh, his resi residence is being located. So that is for, that is the reason for two address. But the consumer will be able to select 
Uh, if the product will be shipped to his personal address or shipped to another address, so he or she will be able to uh, to to select the uh, his their option. That is uh, the second one here is that website displays among deal. So <laughs> among deal for the products will be seen on the checkout page. Then thirdly, customer enter card information so the the checkout page we allow the uh, the consumer to enter his card information either visa mastercard uh verb or also or credit card or whatsoever so the first one is website request bank authorization immediately you enter your card details here and you send it you will see uh, the page will be refreshing so some processes were taking place uh, behind the scene. That is web requests, requesting bank for the authorization. They really want to know if the person is the owner of the card is holding or, or not. And immediately bank approve or decline the, the request. Then uh, website receive authorizations and complete the transaction. So if it is approved, then the website will authorize the transaction and complete the uh, the transaction immediately. So the last one here is that your money will be deposited into your account while the customer take away the product, if it is a virtual product. But if it is a visible product, it will be listed for, for shipment on your website so you'll be able to send the product to the person. So another thing here is that the list of the most popular gateway which I've shown you earlier. So I uh, would like to let you know some of them uh, here. So we have uh, also I've divided it into two sections, foreign ones and the local one. We have the local producer why uh, the local producers and the foreign uh, one. So these are the list of the foreign payments uh, gateway, uh, mostly available on the internet. PayPal remain the most popular. Then Google Pay follows. America Express is one of the oldest payment gateway. Amazon Pay, Squared, Stripe, Masterpass, Masterpass, Two Checkouts, Visa Checkouts, Apple Pay etc etc so and uh, for the local local one we have pay stack pay stack is not the oldest but recently it appear to be the most popular followed by flutter wave vogo 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 pay instant wish that is web pay remita cash envoy e transact gtp uh, for GT Bank, so ETC, so there are many, there are so many. So Paystack and Flutter Wave have close uh, relationship in their features. Google Pay and Instant, which so the the at least their features are better of, but uh, subscription to their a platform require upfront uh, payments that may not be a good news for the startups so but flutter wave and face stack make everything easy so it is very very easy to create an account on their platform and more especially pay stack flutter wave may does not really have uh, a provision for this for the starter, but Paystack have provision for nearly every categories of the merchants on the internet, unless you do not know what you are doing. So Paystack is really best, uh, is the best option for anyone to to select. So for more detail, you can check this. Uh, uh, this is a URL so that you can get more information about about them. <coughs> so.
to I wish we take them one after another so that I can explain better to you. Uh, we not be integrating the wrong uh, payment gateway with your uh, website. Uh, more especially the reason why I like, try to separate them foreigns and the local local one is because I just want you to know you may be some of them are popular like Stripe, uh, PayPal, Google Pay, to check out America Express. So for beginner, you may just go ahead and uh, integrate any of them with your website. But when it when it gets to the stage of collecting payments, it become a problem for more especially when there is need for them to dispose money. That is one. Then two, their are charges. Uh, I lay a little bit down. so it is better to cleave to the local merchant. Here we have uh, the Google Pay is an alternative to PayPal and Amazon for market shares in Google. So it's Google. So they promise an intuitive pro uh, process on desktop and mobile and top notch security through inscription you understand google google is an advanced um, producer advanced um, platform more of the things we are using on the internet were produced by google so there is a, a, a great assurance that their payment gateway is highly secured and uh, so intuitive as they promised so it follows a uh, retailer set up loyalty programs, digital gift card, and uh, a deals for customers. So everyone can skip the papers and plastic card. So you understand that, that uh, it is an opportunity for you if you want to create a digital gift card, uh, either for yourself or for your customer or for anyone. So the platform to do that is uh, on Google, but most especially when you have the international uh, presence that could allow you to, to take the advantage of their products and um, productivities. So it worked with papers and visa checkout for added uh, reach. Then it frees for both, it is free for both you and your customer. You know, paper are different when it comes to uh, uh, online digital production. So most of the officials, all their products are free. So before you get to the levels of paying Google for any services, then that shows that you have been requesting for advanced services, products, or uh, services. So the their integration process, the first thing first in uh, benefiting from any Google uh, product is to create an account with them. You have to have an account as long as you have their their Gmail. Then that is the first thing. So as as long as you have the Gmail account, so the other process are simple. So you can just click here to begin your integration. So the integration sometimes it may be maybe some else uh, techy, but you need to just endure and make sure you complete it. And as soon as you are able to complete, it, then you enjoy the uh, the benefit. The second one is PayPal, because as I told you, this is their their website. If you browse on the uh, PayPal.com. This is what you will see. Then PayPal is one of the biggest and the most familiar of all the online payments. Very simple, secured, and, and a lot more. Then it has over 250 million users and currently is used by over 17 million businesses across the internet. So with customer convert at 82% higher rate than with other payments, uh, option you know the reason for that their uh, means of collecting payment from uh, consumer is very simple very very simple just enter the, the email and you 
you click on send money and then money is go or you want to receive the same thing happen so it is very easy that is why we are clamoring for an opportunity to be able to integrate uh, uh, paper with our platform to collect uh, payments but i think we are looking forward for that uh, great day that will happen with our country very soon so expect to pay 30 cent plus uh, 2.9 that is three percent for each purchase processes through paper so that is their charges that's their charges and that is why pista can flutter with uh uh, at a great advantage over all these um, foreign uh, foreign platform. So it is cheaper when it comes to the local producer. Uh, I mean, Paystack and uh, Pluta Wave. The means of integrating with uh, paper is that you first of all go to this place, then you create an account with just your email and password. Then you securely add your card the request for your card more especially for the nigerians they do not allow us to fund uh the their wallet so you need to add your your debit card either debit card or credit card so so that whenever you want to make payment directly the money will be deducted from your bank account so but they do not allow you to withdraw from their platform to the bank so use the paper button to check out with just an email address and password that does it so uh, the next one is stripe so this one is also operates like uh, paper so this is their website here you can try to browse sit and confirm that stripe provide an official uh, payment processing platform that make it easy to accept a payment from a range of sources credit cards digital wallet ach and transfer and different uh currencies to so different currencies so payment gateway are not able to collect payments in foreign uh, currencies than their local currency the example is uh, pay stack though they used to collect money in dollar but the time for disbursement is a, a little bit used to be delayed a little bit i've been using that before but i do not like that's what i switched to the uh the local currency naira to so naira you can collect your money within 24 hours but when it comes to dollar you need to wait 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 and when even even at all you create you have a dome account integrated with them uh the just disburse to your dome do dome account so if you want to withdraw that you can withdraw in dollar you may not be able to withdraw in naira so you'll be looking for uh, for the money exchanger that will exchange it to naira for you that shows that you are going to sell in forest uh, markets <laughs> so we are some of the options we look at so far are primary use useful as an add on checkout option. So, Stripe provide a good basis for other online payment methods to be added onto. So, Stripe itself is a platform for so many add ons that is, those so many payment options. So, you can find on Stripe. On, on Stripe. Then, as with some of the other options, Stripe cost at the center plus 2.3% for domestic credit card processing and 8% of AC uh, H, uh, payments. So, those are the points I used to hammer, and that is the reason why I try to explain this one bit by bit to you so that you will not because that one is international, you uh, because of that integrated with your platform. And at the end of the day, when it, it comes to collecting money, it becomes uh, withdrawing your money, it becomes a serious uh, problem. Especially paper, when you use it to collect money, and uh, when it comes to the time of withdrawing the, the query, you why do you collect the money, what do you want to use it for, so, 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 and so. But if you use our local producer, 
you discover that within 24 hours, uh, your money is remitted to your local bank account without stretch, without any uh, problem. So they are process, they are, the process of the integration uh, is that you can go to the account directly to create an account, and at the same time, their plugin is is uh, is visible on WordPress uh, platform. So you download or you install directly, then you integrate it with your WooCommerce. Wucom, your, your WooCommerce, then you complete the integration by collecting the API from their uh, website and put it on the configuration on your website, then it starts working. So Apple Pay, this is a new uh, platform. So just being developed by iPhone. I think you understand that most of you have iPhone. You can see the feature on your phone there. And it is a mobile wallet. I want free payment options on website that accept it. So if your website want to integrate uh, with that, that shows that you need to create an account on their platform and at the same time set up your uh, website to collect mail payments through Apple. So it's used to transitions to keep credit card information secured. Once a user provides their credit card information to, to the service, so the device communicates with the issuing bank to create a randomly generated number or so-called token to represent that card you know your card have its number but at the same time when you use apple pay so the apple pay will create another token that is another randomly generated uh, number that will be very difficult for the hackers to access even at all if they access it they can't read it they don't understand it they can't use it to take away your money from your bank so that is because <laughs> the information from the hackers so keeping consumer financial data safe while working quickly so i think we are having so many number of new development like this and we should take uh, uh, its advantage so you can set your website up to accept apple pay by using their api as long as you already use one of the compatible platform or payment provider so like google apple's payment gateway is completely free for both merchant and consumer <laughs> so just like i told you earlier this is free for you just head over to their, to their website create your account there then collect the uh, api and dump it in the necessary place in your WooCommerce uh, store, then you activate it, you start collecting money. But the good news about this one is that if you use Paystack, Paystack already have Apple Pay. So you only need to complete the integration with your website. With your website. Let us proceed further. Uh, the, the fifth one is to check out. So to check out this is their website you can confirm that with the uh, if you go to their website so to check out is a global payment processing solution that accepts payment from across the world in the numbers of different currency so they provide a customizable checkout that you can design and add to your website extensive fraud protections and a Responsive design that ensure customer can easily check out across devices. So that is another platform uh, made available to online merchants. So like I told you, you can use any of them as long as you meet up with their requirement or you can bear their cost, their charges, their processing charges. They offer an API that make adding the processing the solution to your website is fairly simple while also providing the flexibility to customize it as as needed so the company charges to uh, 0.9 percent plus 30 cents per transaction 
with extra fee for foreign customers so you understand that uh, this is the fact about all this uh, uh, foreign uh, payment gateway if you are a starter don't stick with paystack or a flutter wave if you are a starter and you put the burden of all this uh, foreign uh, payment uh, gateway on your head it can kill your business so they have the ability to kill your business because their their cost is extreme it is extreme it is not extreme when you are in their region over there but when you are talking about the africa here you know the value of dollar converting to naira as at present so that is why you have to cut your code according to your size the integration process is also same so you purchase their plugin need to be purchased and then download upload and set and set it up uh, you set it up uh, and integrate it with your woocommerce uh, store so the configuration is that simple after you have signed up on their website they will give you their api you see their api you copy it then you paste it in the necessary place on your platform the sixth one here is the america express this is one of the oldest uh payments gateway across the globe so it has one of the highest satisfaction rates in the industry so and tends to target a higher income consumer than other companies you understand that that this is one of the oldest you understand that great great company might be their customers and you the viable people that believe in it and uh, believe that their platform is their system is secured may want to trans may like to transact with it and uh, with that you may have some valuable customer uh, interacting with your products or services on your website if you are able to use america express so their fraud protection is 20 is uh, secured then 24 7 customer support and flexible to work with other payment processors and different add-on features the america express add-on uh, is already integrated with paystack and so many other payment gateway so when you complete the integration with your website you'll be able to use america express but there are charges the charges of using america express on paystack is different to uh, other charges the common charges is just uh, 1.5 percent but when it comes to america express if you want to use this as a payment method i think it, it shouldn't be less than either six percent or eight percent if you can if you if you can bear it so over 120 currencies are accepted so if you are interested in interacting an uh, international customer that is a big uh, benefit uh big benefits over 120 currents that shows that over 120 countries were being accepted on their platform the price start at 20 dollars a month for up to 100 transactions but go up to for additional transactions so and they have a set of field on top of that uh, number which starts at 99 dollars so with this you could understand what i'm saying for now so i'm just exposing you to their pros and cons so if it pleases you you can choose any of them you will not run into problem before you really understand what they are charging so if you if you are pleased with their charges and their uh, platform you can you can click this uh, link and then you complete your integration <laughs> the seventh one is space tag now so and i've told you earlier that for the purpose of this training i'm using space tag uh, as a case study so it is space tag that we will show you how to set up and every we can be showing you everything about all of them it will consume a lot of our time now this is the their website just click uh, just uh, enter 
uh stack.com on your on your uh placeholder on your website then you, it will land you here so please that made it easy for business in Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, and South Africa to accept secure payment for from multiple local and global payment channel. It is very, very simple. The day I stumbled on Paystack, I have been struggling to integrate payment gateway with my website. I've tried a lot of them, uh, foreign payments, uh, get, including the local one called uh, Google Pay. As at then, I think they, they were asking me to pay not less than either 200,000 naira or 100, I can't remember again. So, and I was unable to afford it. So I start I started browsing the internet until I stumbled on Paystack. Nobody introduced it to me. So I tried to check the official, believing that they are directly from Nigeria. Their headquarters is uh, in Lagos. So they have the physical presence in Ghana, Kenya, South Africa, and they are Operation were not limited to all those same region. They can collect money, they can collect payment for you anywhere in the world. So, but they have physical presence in those uh, uh, African regions. So, Paystack let business accept payment via credit card, uh, debit card, money transfers, uh, mobile uh, monies on their websites or mobile. Uh, so, it is a local mansion mostly for Africa from Nigeria. So their integration process are very, very simple. So you need a Paystack account. Just go over to their, uh, just click on this one. Then you go to their website, you create account. Then all those things I have chosen you as the requirement, they ask you if you are just a starter and your business has not been registered, just click, uh, just enter that you are a starter. They will give you a chance to operate at least to collect not less than two million naira before they close down your account if you still do not register your business the last one here is fluta wave fluta wave is also a nigeria uh, producer so uh they they are mode of operation is similar to a pay stack and at the same time they have some similarity with uh paper with paper so the uh the the difference between both platform visual is that you can create virtual mastercard and uh, visa card for you and other people with fluster wave additionally the uh they also allow you to make payments online using virtual dollar card you can create virtual dollar cards on on their platform so that is, uh, if you need to collect payments in dollar, then you create your head over to Pluta Wave to create a virtual dollar uh, card so that you can use it for transaction um, internationally. So Pluta Wave also allows you to create a free marketplace on their platform to sell your products or services. You can create a marketplace on their platform to and even at all you do not have your own website you can sell and they will give you a custom uh, platform where you can sell your products or uh, services their integration process is also the same with that of pay stack the only difference in their inter on their uh, uh, subscription is that pay stack allow the starter to create accounts but Flutter with bent on you submitting all those uh, requirements before you can, but you can be using them to collect money. You can't withdraw until you are able to submit all those required uh, documents. So this one, I may not be able to, to touch them one and after another. I just tried to tabularize, tabularize their, <coughs> their charges. So this is the payment gateway, uh, Paystack, Pluta Wave, Google Pay, Remita, Instant Wish to check out and PayPal. So try to compare them. Compare them. The start of fee, you can see this one now, free, free, free. But this one is 150 uh, is 1,500 uh, Naira with uh, corporate affair commissions certificate and 2,500 Naira with 
government issue ID card. So remitter is free. The instant wish is 150,000. I think that is the one that I'm trying to remember the other time. So to check out paper free. But when it comes to commission per transaction, check it here. You discover there are a lot of differences, lots of differences. So on filter wave, you see, you see, you can see. So just to save our time, we we try to switch over to the next uh, to the next uh, video. The next uh, video. To fund disbursement, uh, after selling a product or services on your online store, you're using Paystack Payment Gateway. So the next thing is for you to be expecting when will your money be disbursed. Before now, it was within 40, 48 hours, but right now it is within three, a bit, uh, 24 hours. But uh, the weekend, and all public holiday are applicable. For example, when you you make a sale on your platform using Paystack in, uh, on a, a, a Friday evening, so they may not be able to disburse to you on Saturday, Monday. So, but be expecting that on, on Monday you get all your payment direct into your account. So, there are. Things you need to understand here, the first one is if you are collecting local currency like Naira on your store. And secondly, if you are collecting dollar as payment. The first one is that uh, if you are collecting payment with Naira, Paystack will notify you through email immediately that you have made a make a sale of so so, -so amount from so, so 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 person. Every detail of the person will appear on their on your dash, dashboard, on Paystack uh, dashboard. So you will be able to see the transaction, the customer's details and the amount bill on your Paystack dashboard. Your money will be disposed to your account, bank account within 24 hours. You will get 98.5% uh, of the total amount. Paystack will take 1.5% for processing fuel. I think that one is very, very okay. It is very okay. To uh, take for example, if someone purchase something of five hundred naira on your uh, on your platform, Paystack will remit uh, around uh, four hundred and ninety something naira to your account. Then they take a very little token. Then secondly, if you are collecting dollar as payment as currency on your uh, platform, your money will be disbursed to your bank account on your request and. It may take up to seven working days before you can get it. You make a request and they too will contact you if you have the interest to convert, if you have a domiciliary account that they can pay to. If you if you do not have that shows that they will sell the dollar and give you the the uh the the value in, in Naira. So in the, the value in Naira they will collect their processing fee and if the value in naira that is the exchange rate is 400 naira as at then don't expect that you will get that 400 naira so what you get may be from anything from 350 360 so that is why sometimes it is better you do your business directly with your uh with uh, you, 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 people Available, the market available locally when you are still a starter so that you can be able to use the available resources. But collecting money in dollar may cost you additional stress and uh, you lose some money. So I don't say you, you should not do that. You can, we can do that, but it is not easier. It is not easy like that to, uh, local one. So uh, then you may need to have a domiciliary account for fast disbursement and you will get 97% uh, of the total amount. So I pay stack takes the, the remaining uh, the remaining amounts, which is 3% for processing uh, for processing fee. I think we are done with that. So thank you for being here. Let's switch over to the next uh, uh, video.